Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your Valentine's Day 2021 reading. Um, I hope that all is well with you. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All right, all links are below if you want to get your own personal reading or if you want to reach out to me or donate to the channel. All right, so let's get into it, Gemini. Okay, and if this reading blesses you in any way, uh, if, if this is a premiere, you can super chat. You can just donate how much ever you want to donate if you are feeling moved to do so. Okay, Gemini. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, what can Gemini expect on Valentine's Day? Uh, the Three of Wands. All right, so you can, ha you can have a premonition. You're expecting for someone to reach out to you. You're expecting for a, a certain someone to reach out to you. Could be an Aries. Could be Leo Sagittarius. Um, you are Five of Swords. <clears throat> You're expecting for some conflict. You're expecting that you might have to give somebody some choice words. You're expecting that someone's going to try to interject or, uh, yeah, insert themselves in your connection, in your marriage, in your union, or, or this is what you're, you'll be doing. Um, you're expecting for somebody to come back, somebody who was sneaky, somebody who was a liar, someone who was... Um, there's a lot of falsehood here, or someone is expecting you to come back uh, and, and um, <clears throat> communicate with them. Some of you want to show somebody up. Um, you want revenge, but you want revenge in, in the by, in the way of words, or um, yeah, in the way of words, or or showing someone up. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Oh, geez. Okay, so you could be expecting to try to reject somebody here. Um, you could be expecting to be disappointed by a certain someone. Um, maybe who you have, you don't have a lot of communication with, but you do know their what they're doing. You know what they're up to because maybe you're keeping tabs on them, however that may be. Um, but this is them with you, two of swords. You you cut this person, you're expecting to cut somebody off, okay? Um, or they're expecting to cut you off. Could be a Sagittarius person, could be King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, could even be Pisces, but Scorpio and Cancer are highlighted here. Um, you could be expecting to try to reconcile or someone try to reconcile with you. Um, someone's expecting your forgiveness or, your, or, or vice versa. They want yours. Um, they're going to take a leap of faith. They're, they're saying that they're going in a new direction. Whatever they were doing in, you know, in the past, that's over. Um, they've been watching you or vice versa. Um, this person desires you. They really want you. Male Cancer, Aries coming up again. Um, could be Sagittarius too. Uh, someone needs to speak to you or you need to speak to someone. Could be dealing with an Aquarius here. Aries coming up again. Um, another can uh, Cancer, Gemini. Um Someone wants you to look at something from a different perspective and get out of a negative mindset. Um, or or you're waiting for somebody else. Like you don't you don't sh you don't call the shots in this this decision right now. Uh, about maybe having a second chance. You're waiting for somebody to just get back on with you to reconcile with you. You want them to come out of this conflict and have confidence. Um, that this can work because you know that you love them and they know you love them. Um, you want to come out of conf conflict with someone. You want to rebuild, restructure, 
all of a sudden you may want to rebuild. You may even want to get married to this person or have some foundational change here, move in together. You want to propose something to them because you, you feel like this person is your happiness. But there is opposition. There is jealousy. Um, or this is how you feel about this person. You feel like they're jealous. And the opposition is how they think, how they speak, and what they expect from you and how they are keeping you at arm's length, keeping distance between you and them. Um, let's see what the Sabilas have to say. <clears throat> Somebody wants you to just let them back in. Um... I don't know, you know, if you should, I guess we can ask the cards. Um, somebody's, it's a lot up in the air here. You don't know it. These are turned around. All right. So somebody's on their high horse or, or whatnot. They're, they might, they might be conceited. Well, they feel like, you know, there's their God's gift. And it could be because they have money. Um, there could be a windfall coming in for some of you. Um, someone could be trying to bribe you with money, um, with their riches, trying to pull you in. Um, they could be a really good friend or ally. Or, or now they're saying that they're ready to be faithful to this connection. Uh, because somebody's lonely. There could be a woman who's lonely. And she grieves about maybe a relationship with somebody else because somebody was false. Somebody was acting as if they maybe even had more money than they really do have. Somebody's waiting for um, an approval, a, a message. A, a message about an emotional uh, connection, a bond could even be with family or to do with family, home, office. You could be receiving a gift. Have some sort. Somebody, yeah, this is a. Somebody could just be trying to reel someone back in with um, money. Interesting. Let's see. <clears throat> Last advice for Gemini. Should Gemini take this person back? Okay, so yeah, there's gonna be a change to your your business and your home. You can have a new home or you're selling a home. Yeah, you're going to have some good luck here. And there's a somebody who's going to help you. Maybe this person, like I mentioned before, this person could be a good help, uh, a good friend to you. So, yeah, it looks like four and six of cups, they could be really, um, they can make you really happy. There could be some um, money, good luck, fortune tied to this person. Yeah, there's just some, some surprise news, maybe even baby news. Some good news comes into you by way of this letter. Success in home and a good home business and a good marriage. Some of you work from home and you're gonna have wow, you gotta you could be married or you could marry um into money. It says marriage to a wealthy spouse, particularly a man, or someone's receiving money. You're gonna be receiving money. You got money and fortune in, in the Sabilas. So it says that um this is big money. 
they aren't right next to each other, but they're in the same spread. Um, you could be marrying into money or you married into money or somebody, somebody was being very quiet about their fortune with you. Maybe they'll buy you a house or you, are you going to buy somebody's a house? I don't know. This person has money though. You could be learning about somebody's money. Now you you know how much money they do have. You didn't know for some reason. Um Okay, some somebody could be coming back or someone could want you back. Uh there could be a fight with one individual for for a group of you guys and then another group of you guys just going to get really good news, good news about money, about marriage, about a new start, new home. It's good, guys. Um, I'll take it. It's one of the best Valentine's Day readings I've done so far. Uh, Gemini, if you feel like it resonates with you, if you have a question, am I going to marry into money? Does this person have more money than they're presenting themselves to have? Um, will this person come in, propose to me? Will I get back with? Whatever. You can text those types of questions to the number below. Paper your question. Receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Or you can go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the Valentine's Day special. $22.22 for 10 minutes over the phone. Skype, Zoom with me. Uh, thank you guys. Have a really good Valentine's Day.